Welcome to Let's Watch TV. Thank you for clicking on the video. All right, so we're up to episode eight, season three, Game of Thrones. Listen, there's a lot of things going on. I'm not really sure what I'm looking forward to. Let's just check it out. Who's this starting off with? Damn. The last time I saw Arya, she was getting snatched up by the Hound. And there he is. Ain't no way she about to take him out this easily. I'll give you one try, girl. Kill me and you're free. Done. And if I live, I'll break both your hands. Oh. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me think about on. that for a second. Hit me. Hit me hard. <laughs> Did she say, you know what? Hmm. Next stop. Truth is, you're lucky. You don't want to be alone out here, girl. I think he's right. Worse than me would find you. There's no one worse than you. <laughs> you never knew my brother. He once killed a man for snoring. There's men who like to beat little girls. Men who like to rape them. Saved your sister from some of them. Yeah. You're lying. Ask her if you ever see her again. Ask her who came back for her when the mob had her on her back. We would have taken her every which way and left her there with her throat cut open. Mm. Is that the black water? The black water? Where do you think I'm taking you? Back to King's Landing. To Joffrey and the Queen. Yeah. Fuck Joffrey. <laughs> Fuck the Queen. That's the Red Fork. My man, the Hound. The twins. Who would have thought? But why? Because your mother and brother will be there. And they'll pay me for you. So quit trying to bash my skull in. We might just make it there in time for the wedding. <laughs> this show, man. This show. <laughs> Fight for gold of neither honor nor loyalty. They cannot be trusted. They can be trusted to kill you if they're well paid. The yeah. Yunkish are paying them well. You know these men? Only by the broken swords and their banners. They're called the Second Sons. A company led by a bravosi named Mero. The Titan's bastard. He's a dangerous man, Khaleesi. They all are. It's hard to collect wages from a corpse. I'm sure the Celsors prefer to fight for the winning side. I imagine you're right. I'd like to talk to the Titans bastard about winning. He may not agree to meet. He will. A man who fights for gold can't afford to lose to a girl. Your Grace, mm. allow me to present the captains of the Second Sons. Miro Bravos. Prendal Negezen. And then... Um... Dario Naharis. You're the mother of dragons. I swear I fucked you once in a pleasure house in Leeds. Wow. Your tongue. Why? I didn't mind hers. She licks my ass like she was born to do it. I stand corrected. Wow. <laughs> you, slave girl, bring wine. We have no slaves here. You'll all be slaves after the battle unless I save you. Sir Barristan, how many men fight for the Second Sons? Under 2,000, Your Grace. We have more, don't we? 10,000, unsullied. I'm only a young girl new to the ways of war, but perhaps a seasoned captain like yourself can explain to me how you propose to defeat us. I hope the old man is better with a sword than he is with a lie. You have 8,000, unsullied. You're yeah. very young to be a captain. Who the hell is that? Not a captain. I mean, I know he just introduced himself, but... The second sons have faced worse odds than one. The second sons have faced worse odds than run. <laughs> or you could fight for me. <laughs> We've taken the slavers' gold. We fight for Yunkai. I would pay you as much and more. You know what? I don't like them. Nah, I don't like them. If we break our bond, no one will hire the second sons again. 
ride with me and you'll never need another contract. You'll have gold and castles and lordships of your choosing when I take back the Seven Kingdoms. You have two days to decide. In the second sons, we share everything. After the battle, maybe we'll all share you. She's definitely killing his ass. And what are you looking, looking at? for you when this is over. Sir Barristan, if it comes to battle, <laughs> kill that one first. Yep. Gladly, your grace. Mm-hmm. I mean, he asked for it, really. <laughs> the damn Scarlet Witch. Now, what's her damn plan? I know it's something crazy. Oh, she did come back to where um Stannis was, though. I thought she was gonna leave his ass forever. Oh, shit. Half Robert, half Lobo. He a human DNA tester? Show the boy to his chambers. Have the maid storm a bath and find him some decent clothes. Is he gonna be jealous? What do you mean to do with him? You know what I mean to do with him. Then why bathe him and dress him in fine clothes? If it needs to be done, do it. Don't torture the boy. Have you ever slaughtered a lamb, my king? No. If the lamb sees the knife, she panics. Her panic seeps into her meat. So Darkens they plan on, on um. You slaughtered many lambs. Doing something crazy to my man Gentry. And none have seen the blade. Boy, this show loves its torture. Targaryen. Your grace. They're feeding enough. Two meals a day. Cold for breakfast. Hot for supper. I cannot complain. Yeah. You don't belong in a place like this. What's you put me here. I'm sorry about your son. I get a chance to tell you before. Good lad. Loyal lad. Uh, Melisandre's returned. Hmm. I didn't know she'd been gone. Came back with a bastard boy. Robert's bastard boy. Why? Says there's power in King's blood. She's going to kill him. Sacrifice him. Forgive me, Your Grace, I'm not a leper. I man. mean... Is there a difference between kill and sacrifice? The boy's your nephew. What of it? We're at war. Why should I spare the son of some tavern slut Robert bedded one drunken night? Because he has your blood in his veins. So did Renly. Hmm. Renly wronged you. Ruthless. He declared himself king when the throne belonged to you. He raised an army, stole your bannermen. This boy's done you no harm. He's an innocent. How many boys live in Westeros? The darkness will devour them all, she says, the night that never ends, unless I triumph. I never asked for this, no more than I asked to be king. What's one bastard boy against a kingdom? Your grace. Painless. Why did you come to see me today? Came to free you. If you swear never to raise your hand to the Lady Melisandre again. Can't do it. I swear it. Oh, well. You could have freed me yesterday or tomorrow. But you came to me now before this boy is put to the knife because you knew I'd counseled restraint. You came to hear me say it because you believe it yourself. Mm. You're not a man who slaughters innocents for gain or glory. I saw a vision in the flames. Great battle in the snow. I saw it. And you saw whatever she gave birth to. Yeah. I never believed, but when you see the truth, when it's right there in front of you, as real as these iron bars, how can you deny her God is real? Dragon bitch. She talks too much. Uh, you talk too much. 
She won't talk so much when she's choking on my cock. Oh my god. This guy. Dario Naharis, the whore who doesn't like whores. I like them very much. I just refuse to pay them. Okay. No whore, my friend. Yeah. The gods gave men two gifts to entertain ourselves before we die. The thrill of fucking a woman who wants to be fucked. And the thrill of killing a man who wants to kill you. You will die young. The second one, I don't you know. Do about the dragon girl. You can't beat 8,000 unsullied on the battlefield. There won't be a battle. And we don't have to deal with our eunuchs. We only have to deal with her. She's well guarded. Tonight's a new moon. One of us slips into our camp, past her unsullied in her nights. Which one of us? Three coins. A coin from Marine. A coin from Volantis. A coin from Bravos. The Bravosi does the deed. One for each of us, darling. No peeking. I guess that is better than pulling straws. That way it's much more creative. Bravos. That's not the faceless man, is it? Because, I mean, he was able to just change his face. You know what I'm saying? Could be anybody. Lady Sansa. You look very handsome, my lord. Oh, yes. The husband of your dreams. <laughs> but you do look glorious. Perhaps we could have a moment alone. Do you mind? Podrick, could you escort Lady Stark's handmaiden? Yeah. Shay is going to kill his ass. <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. I want you to know. I didn't ask for this. I hope I will not disappoint you, my lord. No, don't. You don't have to speak to me as a prisoner anymore. Thank you. You won't be a prisoner after today. You'll be my wife. But I promise you one thing, my lady. I won't ever hurt you. You look radiant, your grace. Radiant? Why radiant? It's the word that came to mind. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be sisters soon. We should be friends. Look at this. Look at the queen. Look at the queen. Queen You're Regent. I'm sorry. Girl, aren't you? Looking at her like, if you don't Actually, stop touching me. Voice. So you know the story of House Reign of Castamere? Not as well as you, I'm sure. <laughs> House Rain was a powerful family, very wealthy, the second wealthiest in Westeros. Aren't the Tyrells the second wealthiest family in Westeros now? Of course, ambitious climbers don't want to stop on the second highest rung. If only you could take that final step. Me. You'd see further than all the rest. You'd be alone with nothing but blue sky above you. Do you know where House Rain is now? Gone. Gone. A gentle word. Why not say slaughtered? Every man, woman, and child mm. put to the sword. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. Wow. Damn! <laughs> this is crazy. What are you doing? Your father's gone. As the father of the realm. What the hell? It's my duty to give you away to your husband. No thanks. <laughs> she cannot stand his ass, boy. I mean, obviously. Why everybody looks so, I don't know, weird.
Was that his, uh, step stool? You may now cloak the bride and bring her under your protection. I mean, to be fair, Sansa is tall as hell. All right. Uh, could you? Could... She knows she needed to help him out, Sansa. Come on now. You know what? I'm going to give that one to the king because it actually was kind of funny. <laughs> your grace, your grace. We stand here in the sight of gods and men to witness the union of man and wife. Now and forever. Oh, damn. Taste this. No, don't taste. You think I'm trying to poison you? Yes. Yeah, but you're immune to poison somehow. So. Ah, uh, damn. Didn't Lord Varys get given a potion that made him motionless, but he could feel everything? <sighs> That's good. Really good. Where do you think it's from? Couldn't even guess. Doesn't matter, does it? It's the real thing or it's not. You only need a tongue to tell the difference. What? Go on, have some more. <laughs> you still don't trust it. You think this is all a mistake and that you'll have to pay somehow for every bite you take. <laughs> I thought I'd cross I my think mind. he is going to pay. I had a mistake. Only here because my father grabbed my mother instead of the girl next to her in the tavern. Your father chose your mother because the Lord of Light will. We messed up because it's kind of true. He willed it so you could be here right now. There's a power inside you you can't even begin to understand. Um. He brought me here to draw it from you and birth it into the world. We're both a part of his plan. He wants this for us. No, he demands this of us. So I understand he doesn't know what's going on. But I'm saying, though, I don't understand. you got to be a little more on guard than this, this right very here. very religious. According to whom? The God is real, or he's not. You only need eyes to see. Death is coming for everyone and everything. The darkness that will swallow the dawn. And we can stop it. You and I. Don't believe that shit, man. Don't believe that shit. Oh shit. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, see? See? Hell no. Nope. 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 Let me up out of here. I don't trust. What do I trust? What? All right. I'm going to try to relax. That was it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Get away! Get off me! Are we? What's about to do? Fight. Suck his blood? Why are you doing this? I told you there's power in the blood of kings. And you have so much blood. I'm seeing No. No, 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 no. Not there! Not there! Why? Why? Ah! 
Baratheon. All right, well, at least that wasn't the Lord Bear's sacrifice. Shit. Damn, Tyrion looked as so, drunk as hell their just now. <laughs> will be your nephew after you are wed to Cersei, of course. You will be the king's stepfather and brother-in-law. Wow. When you marry the king, Joffrey's mother will become his sister-in-law. And your hmm. son will be Loris's nephew, grandson. I'm not sure. But your I mean, brother I got will too. become your <laughs> father-in-law. That much is beyond dispute. Yeah, um... Tyrion definitely dropped. Will you pardon me, my lord? <laughs> of course, of course. En enjoy. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps you could talk to your bride to be instead. I've got a lifetime for that. We uh. Damn! Look at Shay over there. Rather less than I planned to be. Isn't it a man's duty to be drunk at his own wedding? This isn't about your wedding. Renly Baratheon had a wedding. Your wife needs a child, a Lannister child, as soon as possible. And damn! If you're going to give her one, you need to perform. What did you once call me? A drunken little lust-filled beast. More than once. There you have it. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Drinking and lust. No man can match me in these things. I am the god of jits and wine. I shall build a shrine to myself at the next brothel I visit. <clears throat> Drink. You can joke. You can engage in juvenile attempts to make your father uncomfortable, but you will do your duty. <laughs> My future bride. Thanks. Congratulations, uh, my lady. Thank you, Your Grace. Well, you've done it. You've married a Lannister. Soon you'll have a Lannister baby. It's a dream come true for you, isn't it? What a glorious day. Yes, Your Grace. I suppose it doesn't really matter which Lannister puts the baby into you. Maybe I'll pay you a um, visit tonight after my uncle passes out. How'd you like that? You wouldn't. No, that's all right. So Marin and Sabaris will hold you down. Time for the bedding ceremony. Ah. Ladies, attend to my uncle. He's not heavy. There will be no bedding ceremony. There will be if I command it. Oh, then damn. you'll be fucking your own bride with a wooden cock. What did you say? What did you say? I believe we can dispense with the bedding, Your Grace. I'm sure Tyrion did not mean to threaten the king. No, he did. A bad joke, Your Grace. 
made out of envy of your own royal manhood. Mine is so small. My poor wife won't even know I'm there. Your uncle is clearly quite drunk, Your Grace. I am. Guilty. But... But it is my wedding night. My tiny drunk cock and I have a job to do. Come, wife. I vomited on a girl once in the middle of the act, not proud of it. But I think honesty is important between a man and wife, don't you agree? Come, I'll tell you all about it, put you in the mood. Ooh. Damn, I wanted to laugh at a bunch of that stuff, but uh, it was too damn tense. You know, what was about to happen? Tyrion, you're not as drunk as you acted, right? Don't try to get crazy with Sansa now. Is that wise, my lord? It's in Sansa. My name is Tyrion. Astoundingly long. What? Neck. She does have How a long neck. Exactly. Fourteen. Fourteen. Damn it. My Lord Father has commanded me to consummate this marriage. Mm. Yep. I can't even laugh at it. I hope she at least tells them what the king says so they could, like, sleep somewhere else tonight. Stop. Can't. I could, I would. But your father... If my father wants someone to get fucked, I know where he can start. <laughs> I won't share your bed. Not until you want me to. What if I never want you to? Mm. And so my watch begins. <laughs> now you got Shay. You are right. Damn, did he pass out? Damn. Not that he was gonna protect her anyway, but say it. Where Braun at? Oh, you just go try to sneak up into the camp at night? That shit ain't gonna work. 19. Yes, Your Grace. How can anyone speak 19 languages? Your High Valyrian is very good, Your Grace. The gods could not devise a more perfect tongue. It is the only proper language for poetry. I think she better open her eyes. <gasps> hey. No screaming, or she dies. What do you want? You. Let her go. Don't scream, lovely girl. You were sent here to kill me. <laughs> so why haven't you? Because you're naked. What do your captains have to say about that? You should ask them. Oh! Why? We had philosophical differences. Over what? 
your beauty. It meant more to me than it did to them. You're a strange man. I'm the simplest man you'll ever meet. I only do what I want to do. What in this is supposed to impress me? I mean, it better. Yes. Why would I trust a man who murders his comrades? Because I murdered them for they you. They ordered me to murder you. I told them I preferred not to. They told me I had no choice. I told them I am Dario Nahas. I always have a choice. They drew their swords. And I drew mine. And that was that. Whoa. Will you fight for me? Swear to me. The second sons are yours, and so is Dario Naharis. My sword is yours, my life is yours, my heart is yours. Damn, my man. Her right hand man is not gonna like this though. What is his name? Damn, I, it's three seasons in and I still don't remember that dude's name. I brought you breakfast. All right, so Sasha made it through the morning? Shit. Is that Sam? Damn, I forgot about Sam and um, whatever the hell her name is. Is that a raven? It's getting dark. We could stay here for the night. Man, let's find somewhere else to stay. Ah! You know, ravens. Uh. How hard could it be to build a fire? It doesn't matter. Come under the furs, we can keep each other warm. Hmm. Great idea. I'm worried about Sam. He winked at me before. He ain't built for this. I doubt it. it. It would be easier to refer to him if he had a name. Sometimes. Do you talk fancy on purpose to confuse me? What? No. This is just the way I talk. Yeah. I'll build that fire. Hey, off. <laughs> Said the hell with getting out of these don't first. Don't you think he should have a name? I don't know many boys' names. Let's see. There's Duncan, Kevin, John, Gaiman, Felden. So he's gonna name all the male Cass names in the world. Look how quick she got Tristan's that damn fire started too, by Samuel the way. Tarly. Y'all don't hear all them damn crows? Okay. Um. Ah, shit. Don't go out there. I'll be back. I just want to look. Why you had to say that? Ain't no way in the hell. Go inside. Go back inside. I'll... Oh, shit.
I bust. Draw your sword, Go man. Damn, ain't that the uh, White Walker King? Oh, 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 he got the uh, the uh, that don't come up. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna hurt you. Oh, that look crazy. My man Sam. Okay, let's go. Love the it. Woo! Damn, that was an excellent way to end the episode. My man Sam came through to save the day, but I could have swore that was the uh, White Walker King. Ain't no way in the hell that was the White Walker King getting taken out that easily. I mean, one stab to the shoulder and he's over. It's funny because my last episode, I said I kind of wasn't hating the King anymore, and bam, he just reignited all of that hate during this episode. Crazy. So the dude who has pledged his allegiance to Danny, is he the faceless dude that was helping Ari out a little while ago? Because you know... All of a sudden, a whole new person. So, anyways, man, listen, that episode was phenomenal. Can't wait to check out episode nine. Make sure y'all come back and check it out, too. Peace.